Alright, now, I don't know if you guys have been following the march in Washington. Another thing you guys might... If you don't know this about me, you should know it about me now. I am uh, pro-vaccination. I'm vaccinated. I'm getting boosted on Wednesday. It's currently Tuesday. And I'm very excited about it. I, uh, when I caught COVID and had COVID, I couldn't stop playing the faces of the people I had potentially been in contact with in my mind over and over. And I want to be vaccinated really just for that. If there's any even 1% chance I cannot give it to people, I'm going to do it, you know? Let's see. So let's hop over here to this this story, right? Right here, guys. We got protesters in Washington, D.C. And here's the thing. Everybody keep calm now. Keep calm. These protesters, they're protesting vaccine mandates. Now, I've spoken out against ma vaccine mandates because I wanted to go do stuff, but my mind has since changed uh, after having COVID. It really did affect me. Yeah. And, you know, it, it will affect people in different ways. And that's one thing it did to me. It definitely changed my mind about, you know, I still don't necessarily think the government should be stepping in, but do you guys want to see some cringy, some cringy protest signs? This is some pretty wild nonsense at this protest. I better not see any of you murkies at this protest, guys. I, uh, I sell a Merktus mask in the merch store. That's how much I'm, you know, in line with what we should be doing, in my opinion, which is get vaccinated, quarantine if you're sick. It's not over yet. We're on the downhill, but we, we've almost beaten it. And this behavior makes me think maybe we won't beat it. Signs that say parents for choice, I understand that. I'm also a parent, and I get it. I get it. You don't want the government telling you they your kid has to have something. But here's the thing. My kid participates in public education, had to have his MMR, and a couple other vaccines. So, in my mind, I don't necessarily view it as any different than that. Now, I realize this is a new vaccine, and it's hard to get rational statistics on anything anymore but i feel like from the independent research i've done the vaccine is worth it and if your kid is healthy and the kid's primary care physician says it's an option consider it as an option publish a paper Government officials should not tell physicians how to treat their own doctors too. Sign that reads defeat the mandates. And again, I understand it. I, I understand. And you know, this crowd looks genuinely split in half. Politically, it looks like we've got a little bit of red, a little bit of blue there, which has been fascinating to me. I understand both sides of the aisle, particularly people who are sourcing their statistics on what's actually happening, happening with this virus and this vaccine from social media or even some mainstream news outlets. It is, in my opinion, genuinely hard to get a narrative that isn't biased, controlled, or specifically tooled to confirm someone out there in the audiences or a mass of people's biases. And, you know, I definitely think it might be a little counter to the cause to gather in mass. I do agree with that. Harry Truman, a warrior against war profiteering, something we could use more of now. That's more than the NIH, more than the CDC, and more than the FDA. 
it's I will not comply with a broken syringe flag. That's clever. I will say that. Uh, again, while I disagree with this ideology and this mass gathering, uh, just because even if you don't have the black and white in front of you or have had personal experience with the virus, I still don't think a mass protest event in close quarters with other people is necessarily the 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 best move. Now, I've had the virus, and I gotta tell you, it doesn't feel like it's something nature made. It feels manufactured, and I don't really have a way to quantify that any further or to make my opinion on that make any more sense other than black and white say it felt like it was man-made and last I checked I don't think you can develop a herd or natural immunity to something that's a biological weapon potentially I think maybe it's designed to use this behavior as a weakness but that's kind of deep in conspiracy and I understand that lane of thinking not making sense to some people so i'll just kind of throw a blanket over it and say i don't think you should be gathering in mass right now just not not quite yet not if you're specifically all not vaccinated these are all signed and verified for covid is long lasting broad and highly protective from disease and death caused by this virus why this is to deny human see it says right here natural immunity the original vaccine but that's kind of my point is what good is natural immunity against something that's designed by man to use that against you even the concept of it what if again the inception of this thing is to keep spitting out variants and changing and evolving and attacking and it doesn't the herd immunity is not going to do anything. you got to have a vaccine. And, you know, we'll know more as time goes on with this thing. I'm interested to see what we, what we say about COVID in a decade for sure. Dignity. Yeah. I wish to speak about works and striving to help others. Medical freedom for nurses and the mandates. You know, there's a lot of people out of work. I myself had a hard time finding any employment being unvaccinated, and that's one of the main pushes toward vaccination for me. I come to you with an open heart. As a physician, can we will not comply I have treated in the last six months a Methodist hospitals like the government, like insurance companies, like hospitals. See, that sign kind of irks me. Just say no to the next Holocaust. Like, this isn't the next Holocaust. I've had the vaccine. I, this isn't, you know, if you're... Jewish, I'm Jewish, and I'm here to tell you, cousin, that it's not a tattoo. They're not tattooing us with this vaccine. I've I'm been vaccinated. I'm not tricking you. I'm definitely too broke to be a, to be getting a check from anybody. So uh, that's offensive. That's an offensive sign to me. That offense taken by that sign. No way. Media censorship. The bullying of physicians like myself who question the narrative. Free or die has never meant more to me than it does now. We must live free or we will die. See, that's I, uh, number one. That's a diehard tagline. And cringe as hell. Number two, this is a bad look. I got a feeling that, you know. It's never know. It just doesn't. None of this seems like a good idea. Man, you just you feels a little cringe. Mm -hmm. 
feels a little wrong, you know. So I'm going to say I'll just plug the, uh, the Merc mask in the store again. Maybe don't equate things that aren't a genocide to the Holocaust and wear a mask, you know, and wear a mask.